In this video, we will demonstrate the newly revamped Tune Shader material for the Radeon Pro Render plugin for Houdini. In the HD RPR build version 2.2, the most recent build available to users, the RPR Tune Shader material has been optimized. With the attempt of recreating a style that would be found in cell shaded animation or low poly game design, this shader material offers a cartoon or tune effect able to produce non-photorealistic visuals intended to make your primitive seem as though to exist within a two-dimensional space. Though the manipulation of the shader takes some time to master, the setup will be quite simple and reflective of our previous tutorials if you've been following along. First, I will go into my LOP network, where I have a simple sphere SOP, a camera, and a distant light. In my material library node, I will add an RPR Tune Shader. Next, in my Assign Material node, I will assign the material path to my Sphere Sop. Once that's complete, the material should appear on my Sphere. Great. Now, Let's get a closer look and see what this material can do. The Tune Shader node, as of version 2.0.46, has been optimized and updated to include the base RGB color control parameter at the very top. If you're running an earlier version of the HD RPR build, please update it to the most current version available. This color will be the primary base color of the material. The primary grayscale parameters beneath the base color are the shadow tint, the mid tint, and the highlight tint. As their title suggests, these parameters correspond to the shader's effects shadow, midtone, and highlight colors respectively, allowing for more color control. Beneath the shadow and mid tint parameters, you will see level parameters that allow even more control over the distances between the color parameter above it. For example, the mid level parameters control the distance between the mid tone and the shadow colors. And the highlight level controls the distance between the midtone and the highlight colors. Experiment with these controls to find your desired style and color separation. Underneath the highlight tint, the interpolation mode and roughness ramp change the shader and how it handles the intensity of the mid-level and highlight level mix slider parameters, allowing for softer shadows and highlights when set to linear. It's recommended to use the None option for the sharpest shadows and highlights. If your primitive object has its own UV texture, like my mountain here, you don't have to use the base color parameter system offered. In my stage network, I'll assign my mountain to an RPR Tune Shader. And then, in my material library, I'll use a USD UV texture node. After setting up, I can change my base, shadow, mid, or even highlight color by connecting it to the desired parameter of the tune shader. This effect serves quite well when compositing with the Tune Trace or Contour mode, as displayed in the intro of this video. Be sure to experiment with these tools to find the visual that you're searching for to use in your final composition.
Thank you very much for watching this update tutorial. Feel free to leave a comment or a question in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching.